purpose of this video is to introduce and familiarize the user with the basic functions, use, and maintenance of the ORCA 406 Submarine Escape Beacon. This video will describe necessary safety notices and precautions, the beacon specifications, proper storage, use, and maintenance of the beacon. This video will demonstrate the use of the built-in test function and activation of the beacon in an actual emergency. We will also demonstrate how to replace the batteries and reset the internal firmware counter used to measure battery condition. Warning! This PLB is for use in an emergency only. This means situations of grave and imminent danger when lives are at risk. Do not activate except in an emergency. To verify PLB function, use the test function of the device. The ORCA 406 Submarine Escape Beacon is a COSPAS SARSAT certified personal locator beacon capable of signaling the need for rescue from virtually any place in the world. The beacon uses the Maritime International Search and Rescue Satellite Constellation. The ORCA 406 is capable of being submerged in over 450 meters of water without sustaining damage. The beacon transmits for up to one day and transmits on a frequency of 406 megahertz. The COSPAS SARSAT is a robust constellation of satellites and a system of rescue coordination centers capable of receiving emergency signals and locating beacons. It is the most comprehensive and widely used system of its kind in the world. There are no special storage requirements for this beacon, and maintenance consists of checking the self-test function periodically and replacing the battery. To use the built-in test feature, push the antenna tip into the test recess and hold for one second. Release after the light flashes. The device will send a test transmission and perform internal checks. While the beacon is performing its internal test, a white LED will flash. While the beacon is sending a test transmission, a red LED will flash. There are two possible faults that can be detected. A solid strobe, then a fast flash, indicates a hardware failure. A solid strobe, then a slow flash, indicates the battery has potentially insufficient energy to last for the stated minimum operating life of 24 hours. If the strobe light illuminates with one solid burst, the beacon has passed its self-test. To activate the beacon in an actual emergency, break the power switch cover to expose the power recess. Note that the power switch cover is only there to indicate the beacon has been used. It has no effect on beacon operation. The beacon can be used without the cover and it does not need to be replaced if missing. Push the antenna tip, which has an embedded magnet, into the power switch recess and hold for approximately five seconds to activate the beacon. A flashing light will indicate the device has activated. Battery replacement is only slightly more difficult than replacing a flashlight battery. The bottom cap unscrews from the beacon. In most instances, it can be removed by hand, but if necessary, a wrench or an included tool can be used. Once the cap has been removed, the battery compartment slides out of the beacon. The six CR123 batteries are replaced in the battery holder. Those batteries are readily available on the commercial market. Care should be taken when reinserting the battery holder into the beacon. Note the connector. Once the batteries have been replaced, the battery check reset counter must be reset. A special tool has been provided to make this straightforward. You connect the cable to the connector inside the beacon, making sure the batteries have been replaced. You then put the beacon in test mode by depressing the antenna tip in the test dimple. 
on the dome. This is the same process you would use if you were running the built-in test. Once the beacon is in test mode, press and hold the button on the reset device for 10 seconds. The LED will illuminate for a second and then turn off. This will indicate a successful reset. If the LED flashes, the reset failed. Check your connections and try again. Once the reset counter has been successfully reset, you can screw the battery cap back onto the beacon and hand tighten. The beacon is now ready for operation. If at any time you have additional questions about the use of this beacon, please feel free to contact BriarTech directly at the email address, our website, or the phone number listed on your screen.